Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. It's annoying me that this isn't just covering the screen like that. Um, so today I am going to be doing a pen stash video. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pens in my stash. I also have one that I am um de stashing so if anybody wants um to get this pen um i will give you the details of the de stash um but you can um buy this pen um at the end of this video so without further ado i'm going to get into it i'm going to try and do it brand ways um and give you as much detail as i can um, most of these types of pens you can't just get the exact same of um, because of the way that they're made, they're hand turned usually um, but you can get pretty close to some maybe so we're going to start with um, my first resin pen that I got, my first hand turned pen which was this, I'm going to zoom in even more I think so this was, um, it's called Amber Rain, I think, and it was from Diamond Art Club. I just love it. I think it's got these, like, it's like gold and red foil. I reckon it's foil where one side was gold and one side was red and it's like it's been torn up and put into the acrylic, clear acrylic, and it looks so stunning really stunning um so it was the first one i got it honestly is like even just holding it now it's so easy to hold it's such a nice like because i don't i don't need them that thick i've not got any problems where i have to have really really thick pens but it's a nice weight um yeah it just it's such a nice pen it reminds me of like just getting into diamond painting being really excited to get bigger paintings and do them and you know i would i would single place with this one it'd be amazing um so i do actually have in all of my pens metal tips um because they are better for me because i am very heavy handed so when i press down i was just finding the brass tips were just literally crushing under the weight of the way I press and I can't stop myself from doing it for some reason um, I've tried um, and I also have on the these ones these are straighteners that I actually bought I bought the straighteners directly from um, um, oh, everlasting tips that's it uh, so these are official everlasting tip straighteners whereas the um, tips that I bought here are from prism I'm painting so that's what I've done for them so yeah I love love the amber rain pen and then the next one I actually did this just to get free shipping but this one's also from diamond art club it's just so pretty Um, I forgot what they called this one uh, it's more of like an hourglass shape as opposed to this one it's a little bit smaller if you can just see um but it is really pretty so it's got in it it's like a white with little bits of blue and little bits of like rose gold in it just swirled around it's so pretty it's like holographic and i can just see the shine to it as i move it around which is not capturing that amazingly on the video but it's just such a stunning pen so these are my two Diamond Art Club pens and like I say I think that they're very cute I think they were something like £14.99 for each which I think is very very reasonable um, I'd, I'd recommend like you know if you are buying a Diamond Art Club and you're just under the shipping um, have a look have a look at their, their pens because they have got some nice ones and I would continue to buy them in the instances where I am just under the shipping price 
Um, so the next one I think we're going to go for is this one. Oh, now I've got to, this is going to have to take it back. Uh, I think that it's from a place called Weedbrook. It's definitely something like that. Um, and it is a really lovely wood pen. What I love about this is it's got a straightener on it automatically. So you can only use it for a single place. It, unless you wanted to swap the single place and tip out for multi-place and then just always multi-place with this pen. But you can only have one end on it. But it has in it, these are engraved butterflies it's just stunning it's got quite a few all the way up and then like little ones up at the top it's just such a pretty pen so much like time and effort's gone into this and it's so light as well so if you need a lighter pen this one is 100% the pen for you so pretty i know it's like wooden you can get some with color on it that have been painted as well it just it really like speaks to me of like such a such a high quality craft craftsmanship so i really do adore that pen um the next one i'm going to show you now this one so far actually doesn't have tips and everything on it yet because it needs making a bit bigger so James needs to drill it but this is a pen that I got from um, a guy called Brian um, at Brimwood Crafts he was really sweet and he um, he tries to do whatever um, you need him to do if you are in the UK and want a UK pen turner Brian is the guy um, he has been dabbling with like different colours making his own resin so this one um, was one so my mum asked for these and bought these off of him um, and they're purple because she likes purple and this one he did a little captive ring because at the time I didn't even have a captive ring pen so he, he tried his hand at making a captive ring pen uh, which he's done perfectly. I really like the colours in this. It's really dark, but it's it's super like um, shiny. The the light like this. It looks like them. Um, when I was growing up, Barry M did these like um, magnetic nail polishes where you'd put the nail varnish on, so that'd be like the dark colour and then go over it with a magnet and it go all shimmery like the lighter colour so that's what this pen reminds me of uh, but like I said it needs uh, making a bit bigger so a tip can go in it and then this one was more of like a, a pearlescent purple similar though it's got that shine to it so he has he's got pen he's got um the colours absolutely beautiful with the shine um, and this one's just like a straighter down pen with a couple of bumps in it. They're very big, uh, to be honest. But this one had this one had to be loosened as well. So all you have to do is get a little bit of a drill into it uh, and make it a bit looser. But that one's got the um, everlasting tip in it and then the um, metal tip. So they're my Brimwood Craft. Pens, both purple, like I said, because mum bought me these from him. Um, so yeah. And then next up, oh, this one is also one where you can only single place, but you can get them where you can have two ends. But this one is from the Diamond Painting Pen Shed. Um, and oh my gosh, th this is a diamond cast pen. I've got a couple of diamond cast pens. Um, yeah, the unicorn poop is a diamond cast. Um, but it's basically a, a blank that actually has crushed diamonds in it. It's such a cool colour. I love it so much. It's like Barbie pink or something like that. And they actually have their own tips that they put in the pens. Um, their own nubs that I believe are brass. That is gross. 
I need to get some of the uh, wax out of these pens because that is minging. <laughs> I'm just like looking at it now at it. Oh, gross. Because I've not used it in a little while. So it definitely needs me to get um, just like a, uh, what they call a toothpick and to get that wax out there. But yeah, it's a single placing pen. It's very ergonomic. It's very small. Um, but it's also really nice to diamond paint with. And like I said, you can get, they do do um, multi places to go on the end. Or you could have two single tips if you wanted that. But I just had the single placer because at the time I was only single placing. So I love it. It's very, very small. Like if I just show you in comparison to the Brian pen. It's a very small pen. Um, next up then, so I only have actually, yeah, because I sold the other one. Um, I only have three more supplies. So this one here is from Butterfly Effect Wares. Um, and they do some really pretty pens, but I got this one in the sale. Um, it's really cute. It's like a greeny turquoise up to a blue up to a purple they always have nice like shimmery pens um they are so so shiny they mainly do the same style so this is like the style of pen this has actually got a six placer in it that was from um prism as well as the tips so i will leave links to like the tips as well um down in the description box i'll try and link everything um, but yeah, this one was a mermaidy sort of vibe to me. I really liked it. They've been doing some very, very pretty ones recently. I've just not been able to get my hands on one. Um, because they are starting to like proper sell out really, really fast when they put them on. Um, so they're, I mean, it's great. They're, they're doing so, so well. The next one is also a diamond cast pen. So I think actually... The diamond cast, they don't, they're not massive blanks. Because if you look at that, they're very small. But this one is a unicorn poop uh, captive ring pen from Siplet Boateurs. Um, I've actually got a pen on the way from them um, that I won in one of their um, um, like add me sort of things on Facebook. So if you go to their Facebook page, they do post on Etsy, but they go really, really fast. So I find the easiest way to get one of their pens is the um, go on the Add Me uh, ones on their Facebook. Or well, they do have a few that are like custom pens that you can just get custom on their Etsy, but they're specific blanks. They're not the like... Um, unique blanks that they have um i think i don't know if you can get the unicorn poop on the Etsy. i'm not sure but i just love it um it's one of them that a lot of diamond painters know of this color you say unicorn poop and they go ah i know what you mean um so yeah it's just a, like a cotton candy like pastel pen it's really cute um, this one's got a four placer in it um, and a single placer and I'm very excited to get my other one. I did sell um, one of my Siplet uh, Boateur pens um, because it was just not really fitting with my um, stash. I think sometimes you get them and you can look on Facebook and they just look a bit different just with the light, with how they generally look um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, he used to do it actually, that one was done where it was a blank, so I saw it as a block and it had all different colours in it, but then when it was actually turned, it went down to like maybe three colours and it was just not as cute, um, but whereas now they're doing it where you can see the finished product, which is great, so that's that. Oh, I do actually, have, I've got three more pens. So these two are from the same seller. These are from Diamond Painting Pen Pal. So I have uh, two of these. So this one's a chubby pen. So they do both chubby and regular size, um, which 
I don't know if you can see the difference, but you can feel the difference, if that makes sense. Um, so, I've got two. This one was like a pride pen that they did, which I absolutely like. I'm a massive, like, uh, advocate for pride as well. Um, you know, I feel like if you're not, then fine. But for me, you know, I'm a, I'm a supporter of the LGBTQ community. Um, and I love rainbows and I just thought I want one of these pens so yeah I got this one it, so it's got beads in it and then it's clear resin that go around so you can see the beads and they are no roll pens these so diamond paint and pen pal basically if you like had your pen like that and it rolled it just goes flat it stops itself because it's flat on the bottom which is really really good and you can hold it in a way that you don't feel the flat bottom if that makes sense so I love this pen and then the other one I actually asked them to custom do for me which was so sweet because they're not meant to custom well it says on their Etsy that they don't custom do the lava pens although you can get a few um, on their um, Etsy now I think it went through a stage where they were constantly selling out and I couldn't get them because they did the pen drops at like 3am in the morning uh, UK time I'm just trying to get it so because when it sits on its side for a while everything bunches up at the bottom I love this so much but yeah so it's a lava pen can you see that how amazing is that inside a pen um, they are like the legends of the lava pens. I got this one. This one was a mermaidy one. So it's got like some purple seashells, some like pale sort of ones. It's just so pretty. Um, it's amazing how they can do it. It genuinely is. Um, but yeah, these are lava pens. This is also a no roll pen. I could do this all day. Sometimes it distracts me from diamond painting because I just want to lava pen my pen. It's really good if you're constantly going from single placing to multi placing, or if you had a straightener on there, if you were always doing one and then going and, and straightening, um, because it was just constantly going. It's just so pretty. I could literally do it all day. So, I highly, highly, highly recommend. They are stunning and once again like I said it's a new roll so if it did roll it just goes flat so it's really really good in that instance. So they're from um, Diamond Paint and Pen Pal and the final one is a really new one actually so what happened was I sold a couple of pens um, and I do still have one to sell um, but then I used the money to buy one new one that I really liked which was this from Pens by Maggie, which I've not heard of before, but honestly now, I feel like she's one of my faves. Look at this. So it's stunning. It's like, it's got silver foil in it. It's got like black, green and blue, and it's just this pretty, pretty colour. This like swirly colour. And then um, Maggie likes to put in a lot of her pens these little gems. So they have the gems going around them, which is absolutely stunning. I love this pen at the moment. It's my favourite pen to use um, because it just feels great. It's that is the big bump that goes there. Because for me, if I'm being honest, when I diamond paint, like it's, it's that bit that if it's squished tight, it can hurt. Um, not too often oh it can just feel I feel like for me it's more feel uncomfortable but if you think about it it's this bit that you have to actually close and stuff like that so what I find with this is when you put it on your finger and you hold it at the bottom the biggest bit is the bit that goes there so you're not closing your hand too much so I just think it's such a nice feeling pen I just love it so they are what's currently my stash if you can see super cute um i definitely think there needs to be a bit more color i just love color um as you can tell um and i probably will always like maybe 
um rejig my stash around um just because like there's some that will literally be with me forever because i just adore them so much but then there might be some that i just think mm, it's too similar to another one i've got I might get rid so it's not about me like disliking my pens um or anything like that i love every single one that i've ever purchased but if something's a bit more similar or you know it's not bright enough or something like that there might be a time when i do stash it <clears throat> uh, so yeah they are my pens that are currently like i said in my stash and now just on to um i'm gonna leave them there actually because it's cute um to just go on to what i'm de-stashing so i am de-stashing this pen and it is from poshy pens um and i'm just doing it just because the colors for me are too similar to kind of what i've already got and it's a lot of blue because it's this like mesh very well but it is super pretty I don't think the lighting does it in my house anyway does it justice but it is really really pretty pen you can see the shine of like the orange and the pink um, so I am de-stashing this one for £30 um, so £30 in the UK, it probably works out about $35 and about €30, Euros. Euros and pounds are very, very similar. So if you'd like this pen, just send me, uh, pop, uh, pop a comment in um, and yeah, send me a message. In fact, even better, I have my email in the description. So if I'll pop it by this. Uh, but if you want to email me your PayPal, um, I do everything on PayPal, goods and services. So email me where you are, like in the world, if you're in the UK or other country. Um, message me your PayPal and I will send you an invoice. Shipping in the UK is really, really nice. It's like, I think, um, blah, 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 blah. I usually send with Hermes, it's £2.95, so £3 basically, um, just to cover the envelope. Um, so £3 shipping for the UK, and for abroad I can give you a quote, okay, because it does vary. I think it's something like £7 for Europe, and like maybe like £12 for broad shipping but I can definitely quote you if you wanted it with tracking I can quote you for that as well so just send me an email if you like and it'll be first come first served but yeah just send an email and I will get you sorted out if you like the look of this pen it's come with fresh uh, tips in both the top and the bottom uh, they are the nice thin multi-placer four placer and a fresh brass tip so yeah just message me right so guys thanks oh my camera cut out just as i was about to give the exit um so thank you so much for liking subscribing commenting and of course watching and until next time see you in the next one